Good morning. Um, I had been praying all morning um, because I'm fasting on something that I want the Lord to answer in my life. And um, I've been thinking about this. I'm going to be in Numbers 32.11. Surely none of the men that came up uh, out of Egypt from 20 years old and upward shall see the land which I swear into Abraham and unto Isaac and unto Jacob because they have not wholly followed. They have not been faithful to follow. Um, I'm going to, I'm in, yeah. Uh, and the Lord the Lord's anger was kindled against Israel and he made them wander in the wilderness 40 years until all the generations that had done evil in the sight of the Lord was consumed. Here, it's talking about the men that, that came up out of Egypt from 20 years old and up shall see the land. Um, as you well know, Moses, God sent Moses into, into the wilderness for 40 years, 40 years. Uh, 2020, 20 plus 20 equals 40, equals 40 years of being in the wilderness because they were murmuring. They were never happy. They were always complaining. Always. And it says here, because they have not wholly followed me, which is the Lord, Moses, he himself never, never made it to the promised land. He just didn't. Uh, and I'm, this is an observation. Uh, for the year 2020, remember that 2020 is perfect vision, perfect perfection. So I'm wondering if 2020 is the year when everything is going to come to pass. Purim for 2020 is going to be in March 9th to the 10th. That's Purim. And Passover is going to be from April 8th through the 16th of 2020. Purim and Passover are in the season, like Father God commands us to know that we are in the season. Like again, 2020 is uh, perfection. You know, like when we have our vision is 2020, that means our vision is perfect. And they have not wholly followed me. Uh, we may still be in the season of being in the wilderness. And as you saw uh, where I added 20 plus 20 equals 40, 40 years that Moses was in the wilderness because they murmured, they complained so much that God kept them there. God, it was actually, Moses was actually supposed to bring his people through the desert for 40 days, not 40 years, but because they complained so much, God made it 40 years. Uh, what I wanted also to, to, to bring up was Obama being in Berlin on the 6th of April. Um, he's been to Berlin several times. He's been to Berlin 10 years ago, five years ago, two years ago, a year ago, and now. That's going to be 10, 5, 2, 1, and now. That's going to be five times that he's been to Berlin. Is it possible? Since it's the seat of Satan, it's 666. That it can be, it could be fulfilled in the year 2020. One more visit, 
which will make it six visits. Now, I don't know if he's gone to Berlin more than that. But from what I gathered, from my information, he was there 10 years ago, five years ago, two years ago, a year ago, and now this year would make it five times. So I'm thinking that it would be on the sixth time that the desolation will take place when Satan come, falls out of heaven and embodies the Antichrist at the seat of the beast, which would be in Berlin. Also, another thing that just came up that Holy Spirit brought to my attention, Angela Merkel is in Germany. Angela Merkel happens to be the daughter of Hitler. She, in fact, was raised by another family for her protection if anything happened to Hitler. So in the link below, I will put some information concerning An Angela Merkel. Angela Merkel has massive power over the European nation. And isn't that what a lot of people say that that's where the Antichrist is going to come out of? So Angela Merkel being Hitler's daughter raised by another family for her protection and Obama merging with her and being in uh, the seat of the beast. Is this possible that it's going to happen? Because it, this time around, it's going to be five times as far as to what I've found in, in uh, as Obama going to Berlin. Is it possible that 2020 will be his sixth time and the last time that he will go and be in Berlin at the seat of Satan? where the, the abomin abomination of desolation is that Satan, Lucifer, will fall, will be kicked out of heaven and embody the Antichrist. Is this possible? 20 years, 2020, a y it's perfection. 2020 eyesight is perfection. This is just another possibility that we're, we, we're looking into. And it also involves Angela Merkel, which happens to be Hitler's daughter. And her birthday happens to be, I think, if I'm not mistaken, in April 20th. That's, that's pretty much falls near Passover. Um, this is what I received from Holy Spirit. The possibility is massive. 2020 is a year of perfection. So we will see what happens after April 6th, but it would only be, if I'm not mistaken, I, the fifth time that Obama has been in Berlin. Is it possible that he'll be there the sixth time and take his rightful seat as the beast at the seat of Satan himself? So I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later. But this is uh, what was put in my heart to tell you about it. And we're in the season then, too. Okay? I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later. If you have any questions, bring it to Father God. If you bring it to Holy Spirit, bring it to the Holy Spirit. I'll talk to you later. Another thing that I was thinking, um, before Obama can make his appearance, the world has to be in a really, really dark place. He embodies chaos. I mean, anything can happen which can move us into absolute darkness right now. 
All it takes is one massive event to take place uh, for this to happen, this darkness to suddenly fall upon our nations and our people. But um, we, we also have are moving into the period where, excuse me, father will be against son, daughter against mother, children against parents, parents against children. Um, as unruly and unholy our children are, we're just not there yet. But again, anything can happen with a suddenly. Anything. I mean, suddenly we can be plunged into darkness. So that, I mean, anything can happen at any given time. But this is a thought. And uh, take it to the Lord. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later.